my tannin. It's carpentry and meat and Thursday tips. Not sure if I'm going to call it free tip Thursday or quick tip Thursday, but it's a new segment. Each Thursday, I'll drop a wee video with some tips. Nothing too serious, just light hearted. The first tip that I'll I'll drop two tips today, so then I can call an episode. Are uh, from Sean. Um, one's with fixing trusses. I actually saw the Perkin brothers do it for their joists. I thought it was pretty cool. So we'll do that. Thursday free free tip Thursday. Just keep it filming. I just got to remember. It's a new segment <laughs> for this week's free tip Thursdays. I'm going to show you how we fix. Um, Timber that's on its edge, rather than skew nailing like this, what you do is you grab a block, um, off cut, so you want to see in the rubbish, pull your timber out where you want it to be, hard, turn your gun on, and now you can nail into the block rather than doing a skew and it tends to split the timber. Just a nice way to fix. You can also do it with your boundary dresses. That's free tip there as well. So these are the skewed nails and that's sort of what happens. It splits the timber. Probably worse down there if you can see. Versus where we've done the block trick. And the second tip is a hammer tip that I learnt as an apprentice. Um, it's just one way to think about it. If you've got any tips for me, put them in and I'll video them. Welcome back to uh, Quick Tips Thursday. That's right, changing the name. Um, so, when you bend a nail over, what you'll see people do is they, oh, they bend that back and then they try and get right and then start hitting them easy tip is, this isn't the best hammer for it with the tool, uh, east wings are real good, is you just bend it back over like that and then away you go. That's the difference there between the tools, cameraman Sean zooms in, and then it's a lot easier to use the east wing. Um, what you can do is if the nail hits a knot and then it's sort of bent like that, you can bend it back that way and then bend it out. Anything long clawed like that is really good. This is probably the big problem with the Vaughan Deluge. As you can see, it's starting to chip away, which isn't very good for an expensive hammer. Quick tip Thursdays. Thanks for watching Carpentry and Meat on Patty.